Hello, good day. Another exciting episode of the Randy Show. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is uh, episode of Wildlife. Hey, um, tell us about the place and everything. This is Miss Moss. How are you doing, Miss Moss? Very good. Thank you. All right. Um, tell us a little bit uh, about the place. Um, okay. Hence the name of Gardens and Zoo. It was started in 1937 by a Jamaican horticulturist called Hadley Edwards. And the story goes he wanted to create a part of his homeland in the heart of Nassau. And so he chose Chippingham to do that. And he planted lush tropical trees, as you can see. And in the late 50s, he decided to bring down flamingos from the island of Great Inagua and train them to do marching drills. And that is when the flamingo show started. And then in 1980, around 1980, 1982, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, it's, it's actually, um, I guess, in question, but between 1980 and 1982, the late owner, Norman Solomon, purchased it for him in Oh, Norman, he just, that's the guy who owned Wendy's. And all yep, that, yeah, well, he sold Wendy's as well. All right, all right. But so Mr. Solomon purchased the zoo from Mr. Mr. Edwards, and it was at that time that the first zoo aspect was born because he started to acquire additional animals from the wild rehabilitate them and that's when the zoo aspect of the zoo was born. Um, Adastra actually today has it has three flamingo shows daily okay. also three bird feeding shows. Well, what time are the um, shows? The shows? The sh flamingo shows are again like I said daily and we're opened every day seven, seven days. days a week daily 10 30 2 10 and 4 10 and then the bird feeding shows which is an activity where Customers are able to go into the bird aviary, hand feed these beautiful loy parrots, and that happens at 11. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, it happens at 11, at 1.30 and 3.30. Okay. Just um, in terms of wildlife, because I know your show is about so For photo alone, it would be like $500. Yeah. So any then, no, no, sorry, go ahead. Anyone you all think, but there's a nice uh, romantic uh, getaway, nice um, lush. Um, setting with plants and everything. Y'all mm -hmm. come out to the Astro Garden, try to get ready to tie it or not. Come out, yes. bring it in. Instead of going fake, get, get, spend some of this money in the Bahamas. You can say, I do at the zoo. Exactly, I do at the zoo. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Don't get freaky at the zoo now. We can also host receptions. All right, all right. And so if you parties do? Parties as well. We all do right, birthday right. parties. All right, we okay. Do same price? A lot. Same price? No, well, actually, no. The parties are a bit different. Um, I'll just finish up with the wedding, so. If you choose to have the wedding and the reception here, it's for a fee of seven fifty flat. That's a promotional fee that we're running. You can't, you can't beat that with a stick. So how long will the promotional fee be going on? We say until summer. Okay, so until put, put the camera there. So if that guy wanna get um, um, uh, married to you, let him know to that promotional fee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do, Tell the summer. I'm sorry, we do wedding um, I'm sorry, birthday parties as well. Particularly we do a lot of children's birthday parties and you can we have three packages. You can do one for $50 where you just rent the space, do everything else yourself. Or you can get one of our packages where we do the catering for you, we do the decorations for you, we get the cake, everything. That's either for $250 or $300, depending on whether you want hot dogs or wings or depending on what you I want. I got to bring my little girl out there. She can be yeah, two in April. Love it. And then there's a guided tour for the children. They get to um, commune with nature, see all the shows. It's a different birthday party, and it educates them at the same time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got to learn about the wildlife. I know. What are these lovely birds? These lovely birds. We have a black one. Uh, swans. Black swans? All right. Australia. All right, all right. An Australian black swans. The land. The because land. in Australia, they have some folklore that they were actually, in Australia, they were saying that they were actually men. Oh, damn. If you get drunk, oh, these are pretty, I see them. Cuban, Amazon. Cubana. Their relative, Cuban. Pirate. The Bahama pirate. Because the um, female will have to care for eggs. Yeah. And so she can't be as flamboyant no. as the male. Oh. So okay. she has to be able to camouflage in her environment. And if she were that stocking white and that pretty, you would. So you guys, her. you guys only have one squirrel. One squirrel right now. Oh, you yep. females for me lonely. Also, no. Appreciating the zoo and nature. Yeah. Y'all supposed to beat the Steelers. Y'all supposed to beat the Steelers. Yes. Y'all supposed to beat the Steelers. 
we oh, are upset like, about why, that. Why? And, uh, I was like, I was like, I was anyway, I personally you have at least for the time being now switched my allegiance to the Bears for the rest the of the Bears. way. The Bears. Just, just until, you know, I mean, uh, Baltimore's my team, but we're out of it, so. Five years old, I used to like Michael Jordan, so I still like Michael Jordan. Oh, I still like the Bulls. I didn't leave them when they sucked. <laughs> Yo, when I'm last loyal. Jalen, Jalen Rose, they, they, they won last year. Yeah. Do you feel first time in the Say Bahamas? No, I come here about. Say five something times. in the Bahamas. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta get your passport. I love it. Get the effort bandit special. The cock, <laughs> cock salad. And the feel that. I have the cock salad. <laughs> you guys are gonna run out of food if I stay here. <laughs> So your first time the Dasher Garden? What is it? To here? Yeah, the yeah. Dasher Garden. All right, so this is my like, first time in the Bahamas. Oh, I'm sorry. She's here all the time. My first time as well. You all enjoying the show? She has been kind enough to. There's a few of them. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, there's a few of them. No, just that we don't want to leave the Bahamas. Sure, tell Grandma to get you some some passports. I say hi to my brother, Peter. I get the Oh. Thank you. Am I still on? Can I say hi to my Pike brothers in Baltimore? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my friends and family back home uh, and all over. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, thank come you. on, Yon. I don't want to see any snakes. Hey, Java. That's cool. No. Well, not with me because I'm not really an animal keeper, but. I think we're <laughs> comfortable with yeah. Fair. Gives a lovely jack. Oh my god. Not just if you roll on. On 22, is this a nice jack? Yeah, that's the real thing. Oh my god, damn. Oh, it is so beautiful. Gee, is that a male? Oh. There are two females. Oh, the the mangoes you saw yeah. would be the, the shell flock. This would be the boots. The white front. He is. Let's say hi to the monkeys, Randy. Not the group, the real monkeys. So <laughs> shut up. Just uh, say hi. Hi to the monkeys, Randy. <laughs> Come yellow, say hi to the monkey. You never see Shabba ranks before? No. Shabba! <laughs> Pick up the Shabba there, he just turned 45. He changed. He just changed. Um. That one on the wood, he just changed. <laughs> He's on the wood? They can't flash. I know, I know they yeah. change colors, I know. Turn the color. Yes. Yeah. 
a little too much. Well, that gentleman over there, that's our recent addition to our marching troops, and he is just, like they said, a year and a half. And he was recently introduced, still learning the routine and packing order okay. at the very bottom. So you may notice that the flamingos tend to pick on him a bit, but that's nothing strange. Just trying to get him to follow the routine. All right, remember, ladies and gentlemen, try to be as creative as you like. You can get down on both knees. You can extend your arms, lift one leg, curve the back, tilt the chin just a bit. You gotta make sure blend in like the flamingo. Don't follow the flamingo. I point to y'all. Don't move. Don't move. On special but rare occasions, we do have what we call tipping the human. That's where the flamingos come in just a tad bit close to you, and they will tip you over if they see you stumbling. But it's nothing personal. We're just trying to have a little fun with our guests. Okay. Okay, you ain't worried about them tipping you over. I drink it. I don't drink it. Thank you for everybody who commented and who said they did. Thank you for the gas gardens for having us here. And thanks for Polly. You anything for the camera, Polly? Toby and Salvador. Toby and Salvador. Anything say? Anything say the camera? Oh, no, no, you're biting the mic. You can't bite the mic. So thank you for the family of Dasa Gardens. It's been another exciting episode of Randy's show. We'll be back. 
And our friend, what, you can come to And our friend, uh, Lexion. Lexion, thanks for Thank you for the two, four, two. <laughs>